Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can replace screen using Mocha Tracker easily in Adobe After Effects. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. So further right click on this project panel, import select your file or else we can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel. Now again, select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here so that it creates a composition with the footage properties. Okay, press zero for RAM preview. So here I got this footage from pexels.com download link in the description. So here I want to replace this mobile screen with another video. So in order to do that, first we need to track this one. So for that, I will be using Mocha. So select the layer here, come to this FX, Boris FX and select this Mocha AE. So it will be applied onto this layer. Now select this Mocha. So here we got a new window open to work in Mocha. So first let's add markers. So for that, select this explain tool and let me add markers manually so here i want to add markers around the screen here like this and in order to end that right click on the mouse so here you can see we got that so if you want to make this sharp edges select this edge and drag it outside so let me select this point and drag it outside let me select this point drag it outside and also this one and if you want to manually adjust, we can select the point and you can manually adjust here like this. So let me adjust this one quickly. Fine. And let me this one. Okay. So after adjusting the markers here, if you want to enable this perspective, we can do that here in this footage, there is no perspective change. So I will not enable that. So if your footage has perspective change, you need to enable this one. Okay. So after that, click on this track option. So here you can see our tracking process is started. So here you can see our tracking is done. So if you want to see this tracking on the surface, we need to click on this show surface option. If I click on that, we'll get this rectangle grid here. So I need to adjust it like this. So let me place the grid. So now after that, let me click on this show grid option. So here we got the grid. So now if I play this, you can see the grid will be staying in its position, which means the tracking is properly done. Nice. So now we need to transfer this tracking data into After Effects. So it is very simple. Just we need to save the project. Just click on this save project option. Make sure you have saved the project and now we can close Mocha. So now come to this tracking data options. So make sure we are on the first frame. After that, click on this create track data and make sure we have selected the correct layer. Here I got only single layer. So if you got multiple layers, make sure you have selected the correct layer and after the click OK. So now we can see we got this four corner pins and we got all the keyframes here. So if I press U on the keyboard, we got all data in the form of keyframes. Nice. So now let me import a footage that I want to replace onto this green screen. So for that, I got another footage from pexels.com. So this is the footage. I will drop it onto this timeline here. So here we got this vertical footage. So now I want this footage to be on the place of screen. So for that, we need to first select this footage layer, export options, set it to corner pin support motion blur and layer. We need to select this layer. So let me click on this and select this. This is the vertical footage. So select that one and apply export. So here you can see we got this footage here instead of having this on the screen. So this is because of the anchor points. We need to have the anchor points at the same position. So if I select both the layers and press A on the keyboard, you can see the anchor points position is different. So let me select this footage anchor point, copy or else go to this edit copy. Now select this vertical footage anchor point and paste them. Paste. So now you can see it is on the screen. So now if I play this, we got our footage on the mobile. So now we need to remove this green screen on the mobile. So for that, we'll be using key light. So come to this effects and presets and look for key light. So select this key light 1.2. So select this main footage layer, drop it onto this main footage layer. So select this pick whip tool and select this green color. So now we got rid of that green. So now we need to place this footage below our footage layer. So now 
we got our footage inside this mobile screen but here we will be seeing this markers you can see we got this markers here so in order to get rid of those markers we need to mark the footage so first let me select this let me hide out this key light for time being and now let me mask this entire scene so for that beyond the first frame select this pen tool option and let me select this here let me create a mask around these trackers so here we got only green screen so we need to invert this one so for that press m on the keyboard for mask options and here we got this inverted just click on that so we'll get rid of that markers now so now if i enable this below layer and if i enable this key light we got rid of that markers but we will get another problem here so if i play this we can say the mask on the main footage is not following this track so now we need to add mask path manually for this mask so select this main layer come to this mask options beyond the first frame add a keyframe for this mask path okay so now move three seconds forward in timeline and now let me adjust this markers here so let me select this tool and let me place the markers here manually so this is a bit time consuming so now again move three seconds forward and again adjust the mask here so let me adjust the mask so now if i play this we can see we got rid of those markers on the screen and the mask is also following the track so if i pause it here you can see the mask is here so in this way we can replace screen on mobile easily by using mocha so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye